Um, when we're looking at like working your shoulder, the rotation needs to be the priority because that's like deeper stuff, deeper tissue in your shoulder. But let's say someone wants to do like dips. They want to do chest flies where they need shoulder extension to go behind them. We're going to put you like this against the table. And the idea is that your arm is internally rotated in shoulder extension. You might want to extend your spine a little bit. And we're looking for you to find a stretch on the front side. Just like what we did, we're going to do pails and rails for shoulder extension. So we start with a passive stretch. The pail is going to be pushing down to try to go from here to there, right? But we can't because we blocked ourselves. The rail is going to be trying to lift up. Okay, then you're going to feel the back side of your shoulder. It's the same concept that we've done already, right? So straight elbow, locked elbow, spine extended. Twist this way a little bit. Do we have a stretch on the front side? Without a doubt. Yeah? Okay. It's worthy? Yes. Okay. Hang out there, breathe into that. So a couple things that I care about is you driving elbow extension. The elbow stays locked. Maybe a little bit more internal rotations. You feel that more? Yeah. So right, the elbow stays straight, the shoulder's internally rotated, the spine's extended. And that gives you a better stretch through there. Yeah? Okay, hang out there, breathe through that. And if someone, say, like, didn't feel a stretch there, you could boost their hand up a little bit more. Or if they're too short, you might need to have them stand and do it, like, up here or something. Exactly. It's all relative to your body positioning, right? Let's give you another minute of a stretch there. And as you relax, Relax in that stretch and you keep breathing. Keep trying to internally rotate. Keep straightening the elbow. Keep sticking the chest up. Right? Now straighten your elbow more. You feel that even more on the uh, front side. And we have no pinching on the back side, no restriction there. Beautiful. Let's give you another 30 seconds or so of stretching. So we do your two minute stretch without moving anything though. So it's really important that we maintain the elbow extension. We maintain the internal rotation and we maintain the spine extension, all three things. Okay, so everything's locked down. Start pushing the back of your hand down. Do you feel the front side of your shoulder contracting? Yeah. So if I were to try to pick you up, I can't. And you feel this squeezing, the progressive yeah. tissue, the front side. It could be front delt, it could be pec. Keep dialing that up, don't lose me. I'm gonna try to peel you up even harder. Give me a little bit more resistance there. Maintain that internal rotation. Maintain that spine extension. You got another 15 seconds. Start dialing that up a little bit more. Yep. Give me another 10, harder. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. We still got front side. Four, three, two, one, relax, don't move a thing. You might wanna hold on to this so you have some support. Keep the spine extended, internally rotate. Try to lift your hand up. Do you feel the back side of your shoulder? Yeah. Try to lift it up. It's okay if you can't. It's okay if you can't. That's not the objective. The objective okay. is to contract the back side of your shoulder. Yeah, I got it. And the byproduct would be lifting the arm up. Keep internally rotating and then lift up from there. You feel tricep, you feel rear delt, you feel the entire back side of your shoulder. Everything. Okay, keep trying to lift up, man. Keep trying to lift up. Hold it, hold it. Give me a little bit more. Create tension, create tension in the back of your arm. Yep, yep, yep. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Three, two, one, relax. <laughs> Was your hand falling asleep at all or anything? I was falling asleep, I didn't want to tell you, but my That's whole it. The whole arm was falling asleep, right? All right, other side, same deal. Chest up, internally rotate. Do you feel the front side stretching as much as the other side? Yeah, yeah. You do? Might be a little bit less, actually. Are you right-handed? Yeah. Yeah, that's probably why. Chest up more, there you go. So we have all the same stretching going on. You don't look nearly as uncomfortable as the other side. Internally rotate more, chest up more. You have a better stretch there? Yeah. Yeah, I can tell you do. Keep both where it is. Don't lose this. Okay. You see I have a tendency to want to externally rotate. Yeah. And that's where like people try stretching, but they their body isn't okay with them stretching, right? And you need to force it in some way. So that's your two minute stretch. So we're gonna turn that into a pail. So keep, I like your other arm there as support so you don't like fall over anything. So you're gonna start driving the back of your arm down here. Do you feel the front side of your shoulder contracting? Yeah. yeah. So I'm trying to pick your arm up right here and you feel only the front side contracting. And and all you're trying to do is go from shoulder extension all the way up to shoulder flexion, basically. Hold it there. Give me another 15 seconds, start dialing it up. Give me another 10, nine, maintain the spine extension. Eight, chest up, seven, six, five. All on the front side still. Four, three, two, one. Don't move a thing, relax. Now what I want you to do is rail and try to lift up your hand off the table. Keep everything where it's at. Do you feel your tricep? Do you feel your rear delt contracting? Okay, so if I was to tell you to run away from my hand here, I'm gonna let go of your hand, try to hold it here, okay? Three, two, one, hold, don't let it fall. Keep trying to hold it. Internally rotate more. Yep, yep, keep trying to lift up, keep trying to lift up. Yeah, shorten your tricep, man. Squeeze the hell out of that. Get some rear delt there. 
Keep trying to lift up. You got another eight, seven, six. Keep the chest up. Five, a little bit more internal rotation. Four, lift up, lift up, lift up, lift up. Three, two, one. Relax. Your hand falling asleep there too? Fall asleep too. Yeah, so that's like super common when people like stretch their hips and their shoulders, feet and hands fall asleep. Fall asleep yeah. To me, that like tells you that you're into new territory and I like the idea of training that.